pick up the phone. You won't believe me when I tell you that the first time I've been in this city, I refused to ever come back. I don't recall much of that elementary school trip, but the sole color gray must have been a gloomy and cold day, completely different than the one I'm portraying right now. title in English on the screen because I'm reading the Italian version and I honestly don't remember the original title. It's interesting, I'm not even halfway through, but it's kind of cool because it talks about a breakup but from the man's point of view, so it's interesting to see how that develops. But yeah, it's a really gorgeous day. This sun is up. It's getting warmer, so I think I'm gonna take my sweater off as soon as I get in the museum. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna update you later. I was introduced to this amazing gallery by one of my friends. And her, being a passionate photographer, opened the door for me to look out for interesting exhibitions. This one grew on me while moving from one room to the other. Black and white photography as a way of conveying emotions that is completely unique. It is a matter of poor shadows and light, something that is now somewhat neglected in favor of color and glitz. The exhibit proved my point, showcasing the works of Margaret Bourke White from Gandhi's portraits to the ones of slaves, America's industries, wars, but also different countries in Europe, North Africa, and concentration camps. The additional presentation was made in collaboration with Casa Martini, where among famous and unknown personalities, the increasingly important presence of the Milanese aperitif is witnessed through endless portraits of the era.
brave thing. I'm filming myself in public, which is crazy. But yeah, I visited the gallery. It was beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. Now I'm going to Piazza. I don't remember. Where I'll put the name. video I mentioned how summer was ending. Touring proved my point, leaving me feeling like I was slowly balancing the last warm hours before letting autumn slip in, and I appreciated by taking some sun in. I'm going all the way up to Piazzale Monte Castro. A long road, but we're gonna do it. Being a Monday, what I pressed myself to do was tracking a map out of beautiful and unique architectures around Turin, but without entering them. I think of you as you I still enjoy taking photos, documenting every little detail, from the window frames to the materials, going up to the roofs and down to tails and bricks. Once again, letting my mind imprint such images in my memory. But when I'm not alone, I like to be with you. It's hard being so far away from Twin Peaks, foggy gray, all the way from Waterloo Bay. For those who don't know, turning as we see it now was designed by the wishes of Napoleon, resembling Paris, with large roads and a symmetrical and regular plan, leading it to be centered around a lot of squares. Walking more towards the north, that's how I arrived to Piazza Statuto, where I couldn't not recall the famous square Place de Vouge in Paris, with red and green all around. That's where I decided to stop and rest for a bit. The time of the day has come. It's time to join out for a little bit and put in words everything that I'm feeling right now, which is a lot. I don't know why, but I feel a bit overwhelmed today. 
maybe I'm just tired. Maybe I just know that it's gonna be a full week. Um, so yeah, I'll have to process that. The adventure continued to west, where I encountered several neo-gothic buildings with their whimsical games and decorations. Heading to the station to get home. I chilled in a park for a bit and read some of the pages. Now I'm heading home. My getaway later ended with a train back to Milan, where I completely fall asleep. Thank you for staying here until now. I'm grateful for each one of you. See you next week.